welcome to Back to the Future. All right, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 1 18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, Einie. Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, this whoa. Is very okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, check, Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. Oh, poor Poochie. It's gonna get vaporized. You got that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. Not me. The car. The car. So many guys wrong here. We need to get run over. <laughs> Is this a really scientific thing to do? <laughs> if my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Watch this! Watch this! Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, Doc! You disintegrated Einstein! Calm down, Marty! I didn't disintegrate anything! The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact! So where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler! I sent him into the future! One minute into the future, to be exact! And at precisely 1.21 a.m. in zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You you put your dog in a time machine and have a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! You have killed Einstein. Oh man, this uh, is a snuff film. Doc? Oh, that's peculiar. Oh, uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. I'm just gonna walk around you. La 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 la. La 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 la. My mind's gone. Okay. Alright, where's the toolbox? Okay. Do I just push? Oh, okay. Oh. Oop. Sorry, don't worry about that. I did piss the Xbox. No book. No book. Got it. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention. The thing that makes time travel possible. In this notebook, I detail the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. It's... Mass equals I times Z, and E equals the square root of... Consequences could be... catastrophic? Whoa. Deja vu. It's gonna rain. Got no umbrella. Uh, Doc? Scott! Doc, what is it? 
I've made a horrible mistake. Einstein's ch changing the past. Ah! No! I'm sorry, Marty. Ah, come back! Ah! Holy paradoxes. Ah! Marty, is everything okay? Yeah, Mom, I, it was it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past, and, and Doc was there. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. 1986? But you'd Jeez. better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late. Time traveling in the big train with his family. Maybe he could have done that and come back here to retire, I suppose. This all changed when Doc changed the future of the past. What did it? Hmm. Dad, are we too late to stop the? Sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's Doc stuff. The city has no right now, to. Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell bent on using his land for that new parking garage. And hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? That's just not fair. At least things can't get any worse. Hey, Marty. That's Biff. Hi, Biff. <laughs> What an asshole. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Nah, I guess I'm just... Remembering. Nice <sighs> what do we got here? Doug Bow. I miss Einstein. Yeah, TV. See what's on TV. Does nature contrive it? So that even with a time machine, you can intervene to prevent your own conception, for example. <laughs> really? Hey, Dad, how you doing? Hello. Controls are really. Hey, Dad. Hey, what's Biff, what's doing, Biff here? doing here? He wasn't a friend of Doc's. It's a public sale, Marty. Everyone's allowed. Yeah. <laughs> Even Biff. I guess so. Who's running, this, Who's sale? running this sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly! I don't want to tell him Doc's a liar. Should I tell him? I don't know about the dream. You think dreams can predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff. But I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. What did you dream? Oh, just... <laughs> weird stuff. Yeah, about Doc. Well, that's understandable, don't you think? I guess, but I feel like it was telling me something. 
I'm telling that, you, this don't... sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know... Yes, you've told us he's not dead. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? I hate to say it, but Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe he's just hiding from his creditors. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Okay. These annoying pop-ups I can't do anything about. Sorry about it took that. me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies. Pennies? You should get more than that. A couple hundred dollars, I reckon. Let's make some Oops. noise. Oh dear, here we go again. Okay. Blow out his eardrums and spend the rest of his life like Eric Clapton, almost completely deaf. What's a guitar? Miss my guitar. Do I have not, do I not have a guitar? There's a guitar down here somewhere. Let's see where I'm going. Oh, it's down. Ooh. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, let me now, Biff. Leave Marty alone. This is a very emotional time for him. Oh sure. Sorry, Marty. Guitar, guitar, have you seen a guitar? Have I worked with this twat? Hey, Biff. Oh, hi, Marty. I'm looking for something, uh, in particular. Yeah? Something valuable? Uh. Uh, yeah, never mind. I have to turn the amp off, it's really. I've got no guitar for it. I better not crank it up anymore. I really don't want to blow this thing out again. It took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last night. Why don't you turn the amp on and not have a guitar? That's the model of the table. Biff. I don't want, I don't want Biff. Let me try, Marty. Now, Biff, let Marty have his turn. You got it, Mr. McFly. Is Biff gone really soft in the head? Hope that wasn't poison gas or anything. Can I read my th thoughts? Hello? Yeah. Feels like that was a lifetime ago. Actually, I guess it was. Yeah, about 30 years ago. Doc must have whipped up some crazy compounds in that cauldron. <laughs> well, that smells like beef stew. Drugs, man, drugs. Okay. Doc built this model at downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Yeah. Can I see that model courthouse for just a second? I need to get something out of it. Like what? A not guilty verdict? <laughs> that was a joke. Oh, uh, but really, can I? No, I think I'll hold on to it. Oh, what an asshole. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me to... Brown's worm food, kid. <laughs> this looks like it might be worth something. Ha! Stick that in your dick. Seems kind of empty without the courthouse. Yeah, what's Biff? Let's go get this asshole. Give me the courthouse back, you twat. Hey, Biff. I only want that notebook because, well, I'm, I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of Doc. Doc's oh. dead! Time to get over it and move on! 
I'll pay you for it. How much? Not enough. Just a notebook with Doc's scribblings. What did Doc ever accomplish? Nothing. And yeah, then it's worthless, right? If it was really worthless, you wouldn't want it so bad. Uh, I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. What, is it set to explode or something? Well, uh, in a way. I'll take my chances. Okay, uh, no never mind. Can I electrocute the guy? Looks like a hand crank lightning rod, or maybe a lightning powered pencil sharpener. Distract him with the music. Can I? Thank you. Ah. Enough of that ah. junk. Now, Biff. Sorry, Marty. Oh, he still got it for fuck's sake. Okay. What was that? Was that the cauldron? That's the cauldron. Yes, I guess. Yeah, that's okay. I wonder why Doc didn't take any of these with him. He's got plenty of time. A fish tank? I never knew Doc raised fish. Doc's fish had weird taste in decor. I kind of like Doc. Oh, well, maybe I'll just leave. I can't leave until I get Doc's notebook back from Biff. Why don't you just smack him right there with a hammer or something? For fuck's sake. Okay. What was this? Wait a minute, I see his hey, guitar. Dad, why is my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things uh, out with the bank. I got an idea. Where's my guitar? I just picked it up. What the? Can I plug in there? It took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last night. Yeah, 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 yeah. You said that before. Where's my guitar? I just picked it up. About Biff. Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle it. So can I. I guess you can. Okay, son. I'll stay out of your way. You know where to find me. Problem? Biff? He's got this... thing, see? And I really need to get it back. If he stole something from you... No, it, it's one of Doc's notebooks. Yeah, he found it first, but... Oh. Well, then I'm not sure what to tell you. I guess you'll just have to appeal to his better angels or something. Or better something. What? We... I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. What the hell happened to that guitar? I mean, at least you just picked it up. Ah, okay. Can I? It may not look like much, but it packs a wallop. Mm, I keep this entry. picture of my dad to remind me that even the most hopeless losers can grow up to be pretty cool guys. I guess use this. Okay, I did. Get it, we're getting it now. Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. <laughs> Let me show you how it's done. Bye, Biff. Now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. Rock on, Biff. Oh, oh shit. shit. We got it. We got it. Let's 
Good, I saw a time machine. Uh, Doc, where are you? When are you? Is that Einstein? Well, that car was destroyed, wasn't it? Doc? Yeah. But it's Einstein. From boy, didn't you bring Doc with you? That was a long minute. It's not fluxing at the moment. Looks like the time circuit okay. still work. Now I only need to know when to look for Doc. I don't need to look for dark. Go away. Hey, what's that? Marty. Run, Marty. Marty, if you're hearing this recording, then the DeLorean's automatic retrieval feature is a resounding success. Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I programmed the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now, or then, or uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, you've come to my rescue in the past, or was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please take the DeLorean back, or, or forward, to whatever it is I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you gonna tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading marked Last Time Departed. Good luck. Right, right. Last time departed. Last time departed. Uh, oh, jeez. Come on, <laughs> come on. Film. Come on. Crap! Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? <laughs> I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Once I yeah, know when to look for Doc. Where should we go? Why is he telling me to plug a guitar in? Ah, okay, I Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Whose shoe was it? Oh. Oh. This time traveling shoe is my only clue to finding Doc. Trouble is dark in, Aini. Woof. That's what I thought. Ah, uh, wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. What do you know about this shoe, Aini? <laughs> Great Smells Scott! Like feet. I think he's onto something. I probably just wants food. Do that walkies. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Aini?
What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? Why couldn't Doc have invented a dog translator? Ooh, good idea. Okay. Yeah. I don't think so. No, 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 no. He's on. Maybe not. Strickland. Step away Slacker. from the door. Ah. Now, let me get a look at you. Einstein, come on. Just as I suspected. Hooligans. Get along now. Scat. I'm not a hooligan, ma'am. I'm a, a teenager. Ah. Wasn't born yesterday, young man. Aren't you the miscreant who skateboards through the town square every morning between 8 and 8 30 yeah. in a decidedly unpunctual manner? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All skateboarders are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Slacker. Hey, Strickland. You aren't related to uh, Vice Principal Strickland, are you, ma'am? Not that it's any of your business, but I'm his sister, Edna. Oh, and you're one of those McFly slackers, aren't you? Yes, uh, what's old man Strick? I mean, what else has your brother been saying about me? Nothing I couldn't have deduced for myself, slacker. Jesus. Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. My ass. It's my ass. A shoe? Wow, now what would I want with a... Huh? <gasps> Stay there! It's just a shoe. Huh? Should have showed him my ass. <laughs> Leave that creature outside. Sorry, Einstein. So far. I'm gonna shit on the carpet for you. She can stab us in the back or something. Well. Took you long enough. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Hmm, much better. So neat and orderly. Nah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I... All I've got is tea and candy. But... I'm Sounds sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Uh, the gas uh, have a seat, Sonny. Unless you forgot to light it. Uh oh. We're gonna get blown up. Hey! You kids! That's a shocker. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ms. Pretty Whiskers is very particular about who handles her food. Okay, we better go um, light up. Turn the gas off or on. Uh, Miss Strickland, how about your tea? Uh, you forgot to turn on the. School? Don't touch those! My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. 
Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. So she's linked to Doc in the past. I'm looking for evidence. Man, she keeps it hot in here. That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. Then don't touch anything. You really need to sort out your heating. So there must be some evidence somewhere. What was that? Candy? Ah, wait a minute. This is a picture of Doc in here. Juveniles collide with manure truck. <laughs> nice picture. Is that all? Brown Mansion destroyed. 1962. No, no, that's not where Doc's stranded. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Good point. Let's have another look. See what else we can pick out. Firm announces plans for Lone Pine Mall. Peabody Ranch to be rezoned for commercial development. I don't even know where to oh, start looking for good. clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. The water still hasn't come to a boil. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> Is that Vice Principal Strickland? Mother never could keep little Gerald out of her clothes. Bless you, man. What are these? My editorial trophies! Cat Lover's Quarterly? It's legitimate journalism! Yeah... Okay... Oh... Did I... Did... 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 What's that? Mind if I take a look? Go ahead, dear. Man, these are powerful. I could see Biff going into the video store. Yeah, you wouldn't believe the filth that boy watches. Yeah, he's nothing but an, but an out of control hedonist, just like his father. If there's a clue to find a doc out there, I'm not seeing it. I don't even know where to start looking. Let's have a word for. Uh, Miss Strickland. Yes. <laughs> Do you remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe. Huh. Hi, what a nosy Nelly. No one likes a busybody, you know. But... Oh, fine, let me think about it. Uh... Yes, I, I remember. I, I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. Oh, when was it? Einstein? Oh, yes. The day that speakeasy burned down. A speakeasy? speakeasy. In Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. <laughs> Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was it was founded. Okay. Don't let me keep you from your business. Speakeasy's 1930. You there! Don't even Sorry. think about tossing that Kleenex on the ground. What's he been doing with it? I need to go into the kitchen again, have a look through the newspapers for the 1930s eras. There's the okay. whistle! Surely the water's boiling by now! Come on, Marty. It's the 1930s. Clint Eastwood plunges to death on runaway train. Alright, Einstein brought me this shoe, 
and and Miss Strickland lost the shoe on the day the speakeasy burned down. But when did the speakeasy burn down? I at least need to know the year. Oh, you're gonna be okay. Fine, I need to talk to her again. October 28th, 1985. Authorities still mystified by Maul's shootout. I don't even know where to start looking for clues in these stacks. Wish I could narrow it down to a year at least. Should I turn the TV on? Stuck my face candy. candy looks older than I am. That's what you get with these uh. cheap, foreign made kettles. But trying to find an American one nowadays. Okay, there's a word of though, bat. Excuse me, Miss Strickland. Wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town while honest citizens quaked in their beds. So where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg hooch... No, I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a, a student of history. Student of history? My Aunt Fanny! Yeah, your generation of hooligans and slackers could give two ripe things about history. Miss Strickland? Oh, video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. Right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned, easy burned down. The following year, as I recall. What's with all these newspapers? This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Get out. Every single issue? From 1871 to the present. If it happened in Hill Valley, you'll find it in my stacks. Yeah, I might want to scan that up on a computer. I guess somewhere in these stacks, there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. I probably wrote it myself. I was quite a reporter back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. <laughs> Doing some stargazing? No, I set my sights on the lower things. Is that? Jim Tannen! Get away from that <laughs> Biff had a son. Oh, it must have done, yes. Yeah. Uh... There's the whistle! Surely the water's boiling by now. Yes, yeah, sneak out. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yes. I guess I'm stuck here for a while. October 28th, 9th. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know what. Yeah, anyway. We know. Hey, uh, mind if I use your binoculars for a sec? Go ahead, dear. <laughs> ah, 8, 1932. Rebuilt in February, 1932. Fire must have happened no. before then. But when? I need a date. Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. There's the whistle. 
Surely the water's boiling by now. Okay. Let's see. Ground broken on sight of former speakeasy. Singer vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights crowd. Soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Legal procedure hey, gave way to old-fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley Police Station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled from his... Carl Sagan? It's Doc! Hey, Carl Sagan? Killed by a mob. Uh. What's the date? June 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. Papers. Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, let no! me. No! You've gotten my history out of order. Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Ow! Come get on. out! Get out! Get out! Help! Police! I'm being attacked by hooligans! Oh, that's quick. Marty! <laughs> Where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? Yeah, it's it's uh, my uniform. Uh, didn't I tell you? I, uh, I got a job. At the Model T factory? Yeah. Uh, no. no. <laughs> Never mind. You don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing. Right? I hope so. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away too long. You'll barely know I was gone. And this I to blow myself up. You ready to go, Einstein? It might seem all over the place. <laughs> Time circuits? Time circuits. Ah, flux capacitor. Uh, fluxy. Gee. Fluxing, not fluxing. Okay, can I input the dates into it? Okay, if Doc's gonna get killed on June 14th, 1931, I'll just show up the day before and get him out. I hope you know what you're doing, Doc. A few days before, just in case. Oh, four o'clock in the morning? Uh, I suppose it's a safe time to travel. You know, materializing the street when it's busy and once I'm over I'll just crash into a truck or something. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll do this again next week when we go back to the 1930s. Yay! Adios!